Okay everyone, we're going to do a quick demonstration of the Knox Player uh, Android emulator. I'm running on a Windows based machine. I've got Windows 10 with the latest developer update and I'm running Knox Player 5.001. I believe all of my updates are current. I'll try to include a link to this player or emulator in the comments below help you get to that if you need to. As far as I know it will run on PC and Apple or Mac based tablets um, and PCs and laptops. I do know some people have had issues if they have a super upgraded video cards or chipset the Knox player seems to be having an issue there. Uh, you could contact Knox support and maybe they'll be able to get you a workaround for that. I've also got a little document open here at the bottom it's going to show you what you need to do to calculate times to get a macro working properly to auto gather an alliance resource tile. And this can be very handy to allow you to gather resources without having to be in and out of your alternate as much as you usually are. Um, so here we have my basic city. This is one of my alts. I'm going to skip all the activities here that I could do for now. I'm going to go straight to the kingdom map, give that a moment to load. Like I said, my computer's slow. It's a smart practice to allow yours to load as well before you record your macro. Um, I'm going to give you that instructions in, again in just a moment. Uh, you could pause if you needed to to get your calculations. Down here at the bottom right for me is an expand. Uh, and then there's the macro recorder. It is included with this program. Program is free, very basic macro recorder, but it also works. Also much more efficient if you go ahead and bookmark your Alliance tile. Um, here in, in this case, I've got my Alliance farm so that when I click go to, it's gonna automatically go to that tile and expand all options that I could possibly use for that tile. All right, let's start a macro. I have no macros here, so this is a clean start. Hitting the play button at the top here will start recording. Now any keystrokes and clicks that I make are recorded and will be saved as part of this macro. I'm gonna to go to my bookmarks, as I said. We wanna to go to the Alliance resource tile, click go to. And as you can see, the options for gather and view are pre-opened. Make sure that you're very accurate with your click. Give it a few seconds for everything to load. And I'm gonna use my actual mouse button to click on that gather so that I, it is as accurate as possible because it's simply recording the X and Y axis of the click. If I use my finger, sometimes I miss or it records a different location. Now, I've only got uh, 25,000 troops, T1s, T2s, as this is my alternate account. Note, the march time here says 146. My march time says 154. That's because I know from experience, when I click this, this is not accurate. Now, we're gonna watch, and it says 153 up here. And this is why I've gone ahead and built in a little extra time in my macro. That's all you need to do. Click on the stop button. Now it says script saved. I'm gonna go back up here real quick. Call them back so that we don't have to wait on the agonizing four minute march. While they're coming back, I'm gonna go back over here to my macro. I wanna edit the options. First being the name. I might set up some other macros to do some other things. So I'm gonna tell it to name it as my auto harvest okay I want it to loop until my stop button is pressed and then my interval we're back down here in the math if you need to pause that again you want to record your time it takes to get there and back and then how long it takes for your troops to actually gather I've got mine set up as 7438 and if you're looking at that math down there saying hey this doesn't add up I've built in a little bit of buffer to allow my troops to get back home and sit there for a few seconds before I send them back. What do I mean by that? 
this micro, I'm gonna once I hit play on it, it's gonna run every 7,438 seconds, which means, and we're gonna test it right now, and I'm gonna leave my mouse over here. Let's see. Let's hit play on the macro itself. How about that? Here we go. Now, as you'll see, the main screen, things will happen here. My mouse will still be on the right. Make sure that you don't make any changes that allow collection or gather times to be different. If you do make changes, always go back into your macro and edit the time. Otherwise, the timing will be messed up and chances are you're not gonna get a good gather. I like to set this up and leave for the day. Now, all it's doing is re replaying the, the actions that I took when I recorded the macro. As you can see, I told it, I clicked on the bookmarks, went to the Alliance resource tile. Now I'm in my troop selection. I'm gonna click March because I send all my troops to that resource tile. This is obviously where I was telling you about my troops and my low troop count. There you can see that they're in the macro I click gather. Now my troops are going to harvest. And then in 7,438 seconds, my troop, my macro will do exactly the same thing. You don't have to, the gather is pretty much automated as you know. Once you send your troops to a tile, when they re collect their full amount of resources, they come back automatically. So hopefully in 7,428 seconds, my troops will remain return home from the Alliance Farm, which is approximately two hours and 16 minutes. And then 10 seconds later, my macro is gonna send them right back to the Alliance Farm. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, uh, and I'll try to help you as best as possible. Thank you.